Becoming a Treba member is a great way of helping to support the garden. Our membership is very important to us. It helps us stay open in the winter and fund developments like the walled garden and other projects. We're just standing on Radiata Path and this is a good example of some of the planting that's gone in over the last 12 months. We've got this wonderful avenue of Prunus Shirafugin. It's one of the flowering cherries that flowers very late in the garden so it'll create this wonderful display in the early part of summer. Other elements along this path, we've got other trees that have been planted to create summer interest, things like the stewart here. Uh, and we've also got donor benches. Uh, people have adopted these, which helps then generate income for planting in the garden. One of the things our members and visitors really appreciate is there's something to see at different times of the year. As you head through into summer, obviously you've got this fantastic exotic display, in particular from the Gunnera Manakata, the giant rhubarb. We have a passageway which sort of winds its way through, which really captures the imagination of children and adults alike. The Mediterranean border has been one of those great success stories of something that's fairly new that's been introduced into the garden. Treba is very much about that sort of wild, natural feel, but every once in a while it's good to have a little bit of formality. And the great thing about herbaceous planting is you get good colour all the way through the summer and into autumn. Also, you can see behind me some of the valuable work that our volunteers do, helping assist the garden team on a daily basis. Bear in mind that this will also integrate to a degree into the walled garden, as in we'll have good summer and autumn colour. It's a fantastic area for us at this time of the year with lots of really good bold colour. As you can see, work is starting to take shape in the wall garden. There's quite a bit of construction work going on now with the block wall and then the stone work. The stone is actually from a local quarry called Trebarworth Quarry. Other features that you don't always think about in this area are some of the fantastic trees that survived the original plantings in the garden. This is a big Capressus macrocarpa, planted some 150 years ago. We've tried to preserve some of those feature trees to add to the interest in and around the walled garden. <laughs>